Hey love bugs, it's Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support and the positive vibes and just the positive words and stuff that you send me. Even tell me about your stories and the things that you came about learning how you are the way you are it is so greatly appreciated knowing each and every one of you and they're my own little special way and your own little special way is so greatly appreciated so thank you for sending that my way so for all that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you if you have been watching my videos for a while now and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video or if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive, you know, you know, positive feedback that you're giving me. Or it's just about you telling me about your gift. It would greatly be appreciated. And all is welcome as long as it's positive. And if you feel like you really relate to the video and it really, you know, puts you in a good vibe, you know, spread the word. Like and even share. It'll be all greatly appreciated also. And thank you so much for stopping by and showing love and support and coming to my channel. And the relaxing music I'm listening to, y'all, today. I love this music. And he's even have a pretty... Ooh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. But it has a pretty picture on the front of it. It has Buddha, and it has this violet light over him, so it's really nice. It has um, the the title of this meditation is called 417 Hertz Spiritual Body Detox Cell Purification Reiki Music Healing Music <clears throat> Whole Body Regeneration. So I'll post that link in the description box below. Y'all also don't know what it is. I've been going through like hot mouth like for the last few days. It's like crazy. So excuse me. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Wiccans, Wiccans and Good Bewitching. Yes, Wiccans and good bewitching. There is like a bad way of bewitching and there is a good way of bewitching. You know, bewitching is just like you can control somebody and put them under your little spell, which is something I will not do. <laughs> this that is something I should not do. You should not do it either. Because anytime you have to put a spell under somebody to do the things that you want them to do, you shouldn't have them in your life in the first place. That's one thing. That's, you know, rule 101. You should never, you know, get somebody to put a spell on you to make them love you or put a spell on somebody just to keep somebody away from certain people. Because if they, whoever they want to hang around with, they're going to hang around them regardless. If it ain't going to be that person, it'll be the next person. So it's just like, it just doesn't make any sense. And you're, you're worth more than that. So, but the good bewitching is about enhancing somebody's life you know enchanting them you know sending them good vibes which i do a lot you know i had to do one of my subscribers today donnie i hope you're feeling a lot better you know i was told you know the shoulder and you know something's going on with your shoulder i don't know if it's something that you're sleeping on or whatever i don't know if you're gonna watch this video but hopefully you'll see this so um you know, just sending a lot of that, you know, I was doing it with people that I was really close to, you know, they're like, Rosalind, I really need some vibes my way, and I had to do that, but I had to make sure, you know, you make sure when you do stuff like that, if you're, especially if you're, um, if you're actually a Wiccan through, you know, your inheritance or, you know, you inherited whatever lineage, whatever, um, it's more natural for us to do things. It's just, um, you know, if you have to learn this, you know, it, it it takes practice but with the people that are naturally born this way it's a lot it's a little bit more dangerous because the fact is you already have that power within you everybody has that power within them but it's more when it's passed down you get what I'm saying so everybody is all important it's not like nobody's more important than the other one but it's different when it's actually passed down to you and different when it's taught so it's just like with you, you have that natural gift to be able to heal people if that's your specialty in that. But it's just with me, I can do it just by placing my hand on a picture or posting positive intent by, by just concentrating on that person. You can really be able to do that. But when you do, make sure when you're, you're, you're taking that out that 
you're replacing that with love, warmth, comfort, whatever good vibes you want to send that person, whatever they're going through. It could be surgery. It could be, you know, them just feeling low in vibes because they're going through a lot of things, you know, if you're just doing that. But just always make sure that you, um, that you, you put it, you know, take it to its rightful place, you know, really take it to its rightful place because you don't want all these things that you're taking away from somebody else and they end up adding on to you with the things that you're going through yourself. So sorry about that because it was some notifications that popped up and actually put something else on my screen. But yeah, it's just, you know, when you're doing things like that and you're trying to push positive intent because you, with you being an empath already as it is, you, you're in, you know, empathetic towards other people, you know, towards their feelings, towards the things that they're going through. And you, you, you know, with us, we tend to want to help, you know, we rather not, even if we don't want to sometimes, whether it could be a good experience or a bad one, we tend to want to help. And it might be some advice that they might not want to hear or anything like that. But, you know, when you're doing that and you're pushing out, you know, witchcraft or whatever like that, you know, a lot of people are just like, oh, you're dabbling with the devil, you're dabbling with demons. It's, no, it's not about that, because it's just automatically when people think about witchcraft and witches, you know, there's always a light and a dark to every single thing. It, you know, it, it, it's just like, you know, there's, you know, there's Satanists and there's, you know, there's occultists and then there's people with different religions. You know, everybody has their, their preference. So it's just like, you know, with witchcraft and, you know, being a Wiccan, there's white white magic and there's dark magic I prefer the white so it's just like when I can send out as much love and light as I possibly can you know heal somebody take away their pain if I possibly can but it's just the fact is with us when you're doing that you have to make, always make sure you, you send it off to the place it needs to be do not succumb that <laughs> do not take that because sometimes you'll have a bad problem of helping somebody like I did and I didn't realize why I was I feeling certain ways when I when I touch certain people and help people, you know, get through their things, they could be feeling better, but I was taking on their things. And it was not nothing that it was my fault or their fault. It's just me not knowing fully what I was actually doing, even though that's really dangerous not to do. But it was all for good intentions. So just make sure you know everything, every single thing that you're doing when you're doing that. So I'm just learning as myself. So it's just like, you know, when you, you're able to when people are out there and they've been practic practicing witchcraft for a while, you know, they, they might come upon my video and they might teach me some things because I'm still learning myself. And, you know, just starting to come more comfortable with talking about it because it was just like, I'm doing so much and I'm learning so much. I always talk about Twin Flames or I always talk about Hayokas or just, you know, different Indigos or whatever or, you know, Star Seeds or whatever kind of different categories we have. But, you know, I have to embrace my my part of me being a Wiccan also. So it's just like when you're doing these things, you always make sure they have a positive intent. Make sure you're not doing anything to get vengeance out of somebody or trying to get back. Because once you do, that automatically sends, it, it might help for you for that long run for right there at that moment, but always remember it will come back on you and it will come back 10 or 20 times fold. So you really do not want to press anything this out in bad intentions to cry, try to get back at somebody or try to make them fall in love with you because it's just like if you ever watch the movie Craft, that can possibly happen. You want somebody to be madly in love with you. And then when you finally get that, you know, like they say, be careful what you ask for. You know, next thing you know, you got somebody stalking you and they won't leave you the heck alone. And they'll be working your nerves. And next thing you know, it could get, get really ugly. So people don't think about things like that. You know, people put spells on people to keep other people away. I've actually had that happen to me. But I just feel like, you know, common sense will tell you, you know, yeah, you might be able to keep that from that person. But I'm the last person you need to worry about. <laughs> I'm the last person you need to worry about. You know, it's just. If it's meant for you to be with that person, it'll happen. It shouldn't have to take a spell or anything just to, to do that unless you're just doing um, 
uh, a reveal, revealing spell or something like that to see if the person that you're, you know, you might be attracted to or, you know, to see if it might, something might happen and you can ask them to show you the light for it. So there's different things that either if you have your book of shadows or uh, grimoires or you're even looking online for Google, they, they show you different things that you should have. So I hope you are able to resonate with something in my video. Just make sure whatever you're pushing out, make sure it's positive. You don't want anything, you know, negative. You push it out negative. That's what you receive back. So be careful what you do. So I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Like I said, I was hope you are able to resonate with something in my video. Uh, stay blessed. Stay prosperous. Remember, you are always loved. Send out as much love and light. Send out as much positive vibes as possible. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.